I'm sorry. I'm trying to save you. We're getting slaughtered. You need to get us off this beach. We have to go. This dropship is about to explode. We have to go now. That's a scene from Edge of Tomorrow. We have Len and Dave in to review that one for us. At first glance, Dave, the plot to me seems slightly complicated. Can you simplify well, it, things? It is, for if us? you think about it. But my, yeah. our <laughs> advice, I think, both Len and yeah. mine, is Len's and mine, is not to think about it. Right. This yeah. is another time travel like X Men, of uh, a different twist on the time travel idea. In this case, uh, Cruz is locked in time, time and he keeps, yeah. he can't get out. He's right. stuck in this one 24 hour loop that keeps repeating over and over again. Don't waste any time trying to figure out how that works or where it came from. The movie doesn't bother about it either. The characters essentially say to each other, don't worry about the time lapse thing, just you know, have fun. Yeah. And th this is, a, this is an apocalyptic film. Uh, the alien invasion, they've, they've taken over the entire continent of Mimics. Europe. And uh, you'd think, well, this is a serious-minded kind of adventure, which it is in part, but the film doesn't take itself all that seriously. And the characters don't take their situation all that seriously. There's lots of fun in this one. Yeah. Some of the other, we were talking just a moment ago, some of the other uh, action adventures, especially the sci-fi ones this year, have drained all the fun out. And you're stuck with this serious stuff. Yeah. And you think, well, what, what is this all about? Yeah. And this one is about having fun at the movies. Yeah. yeah. Do we get a chance to see Tom Cruise, the two main characters, do each time he's reborn, do we see that character grow? You do. That, that, that's actually one of the things I really enjoyed about this movie. It's, it's kind of a callback to it's like an Aliens meet Groundhog Day. Okay. Uh, kind of, kind of, <laughs> that's kind a good thing. way to put it. Yeah. And, uh, but but one, one of the things that, that Tom Cruise has been slammed for um, over the past few years, he's been in a lot of movies, but he, did, he doesn't really show a lot of uh, character to growth yeah. with, with his characters. This one he does. He starts out as kind of a, a slime bag uh, spin doctor. Well, he's a PR, and, PR guy yeah. in the military. And he's in charge of, uh, you know, images yeah, and, but, but, and you know, it, spin. It, it, and, but, but, you know, the, the, the movie reminds me a lot, especially if you're, if you're a video gamer. Yeah. Uh, you start out, you don't know your environment, you, there, there are all these monsters going around you, and you die. Right. Uh, but then you kind of remember where the monsters are oh. and, and what you do, and then you adapt and you evolve, and you kind of remember how to do things. And Tom Cruise's character kind of progresses in the exact same way. Okay. No, that's, 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 a, that's a really good insight. I, I have no experience with video games, so it didn't occur to me that this is essentially what this is. But yeah, I think unlimited, right. unlimited lives, right? Yeah. You just keep <laughs> going back. <laughs> that's right. You put in another quarter and you get to play the game again. Exactly. Or whatever. Yeah. So is this a movie, it doesn't necessarily just rely on special effects then, right? And you, and you like that. You like the character development. Yeah, the, right? the, we don't learn a lot about the characters' backstories yeah. in the sense of you know understanding yeah. or even identifying with them. Uh, but you care about them anyway. Emily yeah. Blunt is very good in a role which is quite different from the ones we know her for. And Tom Cruise is reliable in these kind of roles. Uh, and uh, he's, as, as we were saying, he's, he's, he's a, a guy who doesn't belong where he is. And the, the movie wastes no, absolutely no time trying to explain how this PR guy got into the front sure. line without yeah. any kind of training. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, just dropped, dropped in. in there. Yeah. yeah. Literally. Actually. Right. Literally. Is, is that a risky role for Tom Cruise to take this if it doesn't quite work the way he wants it, it to? It, it, it would be a risky role if he doesn't take it but, or if he doesn't pull it off. But he does sure. pull it off. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, exceptionally well, I, I, I believe. Uh, one, one of the great things, too, uh, that, I, that I enjoyed about it is uh, Bill Paxton's in it. He plays a uh, drill sergeant. Yeah. He yeah. provides a little bit of a comic relief in, in, in the movie. So. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's a, a funny character. Yeah. Someone says to him, are you an American? He says, no, I'm from <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. All right, Len, on our scale of five up to five Lennies, what do we give this one? Four and a half Lennies. Four and a half Lennies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it's, very it's, good. It's a very enjoyable. Yeah. You know, I, I've, <laughs> I'm actually giving Hollywood a lot of credit this year. Their the, the, the summer movie season has actually been a lot better so far than, than I've expected good. it to be. Okay, let's get your final words, Dave. And here they are. Edge of Tomorrow, action, lots of fun. Want to be in the loop? Tomorrow is the one. Sounds like one to see. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Good to see sure. you. Thank Don't you. go away. We'll be back right after.